So one of the big benefits of uh, wrapping your bike, uh, besides just protecting the paint from any rocks or chips or falls and things like that, especially a gravel bike or a workhorse bike like this, is that when I mount gear on here, now it's protected. This is on top of that film, and so now I don't have to worry about the paint getting scuffed or roughed up uh, as this swings around or anytime I change out in materials or anything like that, I know that this is always going to be kind of protected uh, from any damage or anything like that or uh, wear and tear kind of features. Keeps the bike just a little bit nicer. back y'all uh so finally got the bike serviced got uh 5300 mile service finally and joe did a great job we updated a few things they got new cables housing new uh cables in there as well uh since it'd been so long so they started to stretch and then uh updated or cleaned up chain and cassette everything else looked fine joe said the uh brakes and everything looked good on it uh, so the bike's completely stripped down. I'm about to pull all the bolts and the wheels off. Uh, I'm going to scrub up the frame with a little bit of soapy water uh, to clean off all the dirt out of the can, all the grease and oil and everything that's on it. Uh, and then I'm going to lay down my new <clears throat> uh, frame protectant on the bike. I've been kind of just cautiously placing the bike certain places just to make sure I don't um, scratch it or anything while I don't have any protection on it. Uh, I am going to leave the graffiti uh, wrap on the front fork uh, just as a memory and a, a little tribute to what I originally wrapped it a couple of years back. So for cleaning, I'm just using a little bit of kind of hand soap uh, and with a little warm water uh, in a bucket. Going to wipe down all the parts of it and then as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to pull out the bolts uh, so that I can start laying down uh, the helicopter tape. I'm going to cut out the individual holes so that it doesn't uh, wrinkle the tape when I screw the bolts back in there. Uh, so it'll make for a, a little prettier application. But I'm going to scrub down the bike real quick with uh, hot, um, warm water and soap now. This is probably the most tedious part of getting the bike prepped for um, wrapping. Pull out all these bolts and on this bike, on most modern carbon bikes, they'll have a little door port right here for internal cable routing. So you gotta make sure you get that out of the way, but also go back and wrap that uh, door so that you don't bang that up as well where your bottle cages stay and stuff like that. So you gotta pull all this apart so that you can get the wrap inside the uh, holes here or the empty, uh, spots and then make sure it's wrapped cor correctly so it looks nice and doesn't look like there's a wrap on it sometimes. One of the bad parts about the checkpoint, it's got a lot of mounting bolts, a lot of mounting holes for kind of carrying whatever you need or fenders and racks and stuff like that so a lot of bolts I got to take out. All right, removing the last bolt, everything's been scrubbed up and cleaned. The uh, surface should be ready for the tape. Uh, I'm using some tape that I'd purchased before that I have a little left over, which actually happens to be the great length for my down tube and the nice width too, so that this will wrap around. Uh, so it's just 3M uh, helicopter tape. Just search that on Amazon. You can find it at different lengths and different uh, uh, widths as well for the type of bike that you've got, but I'm gonna just reuse the last of I got on this big one, and then I have a smaller roll that I got for these other smaller parts and stuff. All right, so now it's time to apply the film. All you do is remove the film. It's gonna get a little sticky, so we'll be ready for that. And then in a tub of water and soap, I found and kind of learned this from all the car guys when they wrap their vehicles as you soak or uh, prepare the surface with water and soap. Uh, that way you can slide the film around. You'll see it'll be sticky, but just get it wet 
I like dunking it because now it doesn't stick to myself or itself and you can move it around on the surface. I'm gonna start with the leading edge this way. That way I can wrap it, make sure I got the right length. I want that to go up there because I'm gonna to have to cut where my cable port is and then I'm just gonna try and get it as center as possible here. And then I'm gonna to have to make a couple of cuts to make sure that the wrap goes up as far as I'd like here. Then I'm gonna cut it here so I can fold it in on the uh, bottom bracket area, things like that. And then I'll slowly wrap it around. Now you can see that this kind of will still slide around and that's kind of nice because it's not gonna lay down perfect the first time, but make sure you measure it to kind of where it wraps around where you can clear the, uh, like the edge of it maybe underneath a, a hiding portion of the bike or something like that so that you don't see that line and it looks just like it's painted and there's nothing covering it, which is kind of nice. But now I'm gonna cut those sections out and then I'll apply the uh, film to the uh, bike with uh, a little scrubber. The uh, 3M stuff will come with a little kind of pad like that and that way you can kind of scrub out the air and water and then it, it sticks to the frame once that's clear and then it's on there for however long you need it to stay on but after that you'll cut and clean it off and then it'll look like it's a, a wrapped bike uh, completely protected any dings and stuff like that as you can see this thing's a year old 5300 miles and paint still looks pristine except for a couple of spots where i've banged it up with uh, bolts and stuff things like that but uh, definitely helps protect the bike itself all right, so what you're watching for when you're laying this down is to make sure you keep it tight, but also watch for bubbles and items inside there. When you scrape that out, you always go out towards the edge of the uh, tape itself. But you scrub out all the bubbles and water and stuff like that. All the other stuff will kind of dry inside there uh, that stays around, but make sure you get all that out. And the most difficult part too is when you're coming to a bend this is where you've got to kind of cut the tape uh, to go a certain direction. And then you've got to smooth that out the best you can, but also kind of keeping it tight uh, so that at your edges, you don't see the tape itself. Uh, on the checkpoint, there is a like a rubber guard underneath the, the down tube here. And so that's kind of hard to cut around there. I definitely say if you do this is to get like a small scalpel uh, something pretty sharp so that you can pierce the uh, film and cut it to size without making it as ragged as I have here. But I'm wrapping it in the right places that you won't ever see it. But definitely make sure you keep it taut and then also just scrub out any imperfections inside the film or in between the film and the paint, stuff like that. So now what I'm trying to do here is you can see the bolt holes there. I don't know why it doesn't focus. There it is. Let me zoom in some. But now I've got to kind of cut those holes out and get as much of the material away from there. So as soon as I insert the bolt, it doesn't twist or uh, uh, distort the uh, wrap that's on there. But it's not very easy. That's I definitely say uh, get like a scalpel or something like that to make it a bit easier on uh, cutting this stuff out and making it look a little better. As you can see, I cut my finger. So watch it when you do this. All right, time to start wrapping the top tube. This is going to be a bit easier since there's not as much bends in it. You can see it's pretty straightforward on there. What I'm gonna to have to watch for though is my ISO suspension here. It's very difficult to cut around there. You can already see I've got a few little nicks when I did it last time, but I'm gonna cut it right before it and cover as much of the uh, top tube as I can 
Uh, this should be a little easier. And I'm thinking I'm going to leave the holes until everything dries, and then I might put the bolts back in then. Uh, see if I can get that to settle in there without having an issue of it twisting or uh, warping the uh, wrap at the holes. Definitely doesn't look pretty. Look like little hurricanes on your bike and everything, but now to wrap the top tube. So I'm gonna cut to length what I need, and then I'm gonna dip it in the solvent, and then that way you can just slide that on there, and I'll kind of film a little bit more on how that moves as you're trying to get that soap out. But make sure the surface is nice and clean. Wipe it down, alcohol if you need to, just to knock off any of the grease and stuff like that. I just had some grease in this bolt hole. So I gotta clean it up the best I can, and then uh, we'll finish the top tube. Always have some tape handy. I'm not liking that I'm using electrical on the bike, but if you got like some painter's tape, it's kind of nice to maybe tape a little piece here and stretch out the uh, wrap. That way you can hold it in place, measure, make some cuts on there, keep some tape around. All right, and that is it. Got everything wrapped best I could. I'm not sure if I like this tape or if it was the soap or something, but I do have some like non-clean areas on the tape itself. So I'm not a huge fan of that at the moment, but we'll see how it dries out and hopefully that doesn't stay in there, but everything laid down pretty nice. I'm gonna open up the bolt holes that I've covered, uh, let it air out, and then uh, maybe in the next couple of days or so, uh, I'll uh, put the bolts back in. All right, well, that's it. That's a wrap. So I've got everything wrapped up, uh, and I've just punctured the holes for now. I'm just gonna kinda let it air out uh, the bike and all the wrap. This wrap didn't turn out Greatest like I liked, you can see a few spots uh, of a little dirtiness, but hopefully with time that'll dry out and then just adhere to the bike so it looks a little cleaner. But my seat stays are covered, top tube, down tube, my forks. Um, I didn't do the rear, I might do that next. Sometimes it doesn't get as beat up back there, but just to make sure, clean it up a little bit. But hopefully you like this. Um, definitely keep uh, watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you know when I come out with these new ones. Uh, next uh, video that I'll be releasing will be about commuting and bags that I've used for you know, bikepacking and camping and stuff like that. So watch for that coming up soon. But uh, again, thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you liked and uh, share with your friends. Uh, Till next time. Peace.